Very effective avian influenza virus control programs entail a number of components, with vaccination just being one of those components. Vaccination just happens to be my major research interest. So my question is, do we have commercially available avian influenza virus vaccines? The answer, put quite simply, is yes. However, they are associated with a number of limitations, such as the inability to elicit a desirable mucosal antibody response, and they are also not very adaptable to mass vaccination schemes. Furthermore, they require the use of an adjuvant in order to be effective. Therefore, my long-term study objective involves identifying novel, effective vaccine adjuvants, ultimately resulting in improved vaccine formulations with a greater level of protection for poultry, thus breaking that virus transmission cycle. My main, request, my main research question is, can we identify a novel, efficacious mucosal adjuvant that can be effectively delivered to target sites with minimal levels of degradation. CPG ODN actually is the main mucosal adjuvant being used in my studies. So far, I have evaluated various types and doses and have found that the low dose of a particular type offers the most effective um, immune response. From that point onward, we decided to take that particular vaccine formulation and encapsulate it using nanoparticles. We then administered these vaccine formulations both intramuscularly and using an aerosol route of administration. Currently, we are in the process of evaluating both the systemic and the mucosal immune responses. So what does all of this translate to in terms of future applications? <laughs> well, obviously, it provides us with the opportunity to improve our vaccine formulations by eliciting a greater immune response. Our vaccine formulations are also potentially adaptable to mass vaccination schemes when we use the aerosol route of administration. And the slow controlled release system characteristic of our formulations allows for persistence of the vaccine formulation at the site of administration. And obviously a direct consequence of this is fewer doses of vaccines being required which is particularly useful for vaccinating very large numbers of birds in the face of an outbreak. I would like to conclude at this point, and I would like to thank members of the audience, my advisor, Dr. Sharif, my research committee members, Drs. Naj, Giles, Harifa, my lab members, the Canadian Poultry Research Council, the AAFC, and finally, Omafra. Thank you. <laughs>